Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and today we've managed to get the Digitech dual time calculator watch working. So while it's working I will show you what features it does. So if I get it into position so it's got the right light pointing on it. Right, here we are. It's typically blue tacked down by the straps in case I get concerned about the backing going a bit funny. For example, if it comes loose and we lose the whole thing, we may never get it back. So, we're going to give you a wee demo. while it's blue tacked down to the table. So we have the AC button, which is the mode, your start, stop, and your alarm and your calculator buttons. And then again, you've got your day of the week, which is just there. You can only just see the dot if I lift it up a little bit, you'll just see it. See, there's your dot right there to tell you that it's located on Friday. So again, you've got your AC, which is your mode, your lap reset, start, stop, date, alarm, and then your calculator. So, that might help a little bit actually, so you can see it better, or whichever way is better. So it's beeping. That's your dual time, and then your local time. So if you want to set the time, hold this button down until your alarm blinks. We're going to test the alarm. So those are your hours and these are your minutes. So we'll see if the alarm works in about one minute. Whilst we wait, we'll test the calculator. So we'll do minus nine nine nine. Do a bunch of nines. So your minus and your error is in the middle, just like on the other watch which I did on this video. Right, we just need to wait now. In 10 seconds the alarm will sound. Okay, that's the alarm. We need to be very careful because the display almost went out there. Here's your stopwatch. Your LP, as in lap. So there you go for that.
So that's your stopwatch. We'll leave that running. Your dual time. If you want to set your dual time, hold your finger again on the AC and then you can go ahead and set your dual time. We'll set it for 5 a.m. Californian time. And that's the D saying that you're in dual time. So let's test the calculator. 7 times 2 equals 14 so yep yeah, that's all good and it's beeping properly as well now if you want to do some comparisons which we're going to do in a sec while we're in time mode So you got your alarm, your, so you got your date. So that's correct. Your alarm. So if you press here, that turns your bell off for your alarm. And that tests it to show that it's working. All digits are all in good shape, no missing digits. So now that you've seen the dual tech, the Digitech I mean, with dual time, you'll notice it's the same as this watch, the Summit. It's like one of my watches just went off. See, these are both the same. So you got your date and your alarm. I wonder if this watch has snooze function. I'll have to give it a try sometime. So there you go. These are both the same. Now there is another one I'm going to show you which isn't the same. And this one is a blue colour. And that is this one here, which I'm just putting out for you now. Now, if you notice, this one does not have stopwatch, but they're kind of both got the same labeling. But the one thing missing off this watch, which is a lie, because it does tell you at the top, is the dual time. So if I press here, calculator, and then back to time. Alarm stays on alarm. This one doesn't. And you have to press mode to go back into it. Date is the same. It stays on the date. And then you have to press here for it to go back in. Press alarm. Hang on. Alarm. That's how the button sounds. 
It's a very weird one, this. Now, if you want to put the bell on, I think it's one of these buttons. I can't remember which one it is. I think you have to hold down alarm and the bell at the same time. I think you have to set it. Hmm. This one's more com complicated than I thought. Ah, that's how you put the bell on. You have to do it in the time mode in order to put the bell on. You go into alarm and you press it. That constantly activates the alarm. There's no stopping. It's just triple beeping constantly all the way. So there you go for the both of them. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave a comment, but... This one here was very tricky to get working because I kept pressing all the buttons and all I kept getting was a bunch of eights and then they kept disappearing. But it seems like the watch happened to have cycled up out of the blue on its own. So in the end, the watch actually works. Thank goodness. And enough time for me to give you a demo on YouTube for you as well. So hope you've enjoyed. and Feel free to leave a comment if you want. Bye for now. And before I go, get the date and the time. August 5th, 2022. And the same for my other watches. They're all the same.